Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ron. So, this Judge Sullivan, you know, you know Donald Trump, President Trump issued a full pardon of General Michael Flynn. And you remember the fiasco with Judge Sullivan. I just wasn't letting it go. Didn't want to accept the plea anymore. And I come across this headline. Where are we? Right. Here we go. Let me let me let me move me down a little bit here. Um, I'm a little too up there. Let's just scale me down, go like that, and there we go. So Flynn judge grants long list of briefs signaling quick dismissal not happening after Trump pardon. And this was dated yesterday, last night, eleven thirty. Uh, it says a federal judge appeared to give a long list of outside groups who previously weighed in on the Justice Department's motion to drop the case against retired General Flynn permission to submit briefs again after President Trump issued a pardon. Now, something is seriously going on with this judge. And I mean, sorry about that. The reason I say that is, I don't know if you follow this whole case, but I remember in the very beginning, before General Flynn plead guilt, pled guilty, the judge, because of what the media was reporting, straight out in court, called him a traitor, a disgrace to the country. This is before he pled guilty, and this is the judge. This, like the case, didn't even, it was just getting started, and that's what he told General Flynn in court. Sidney Powell says she was flabbergasted. She says she'd never seen nothing like that before. And then you'd think he would recuse himself. Nope, went right along. So kind of knew something was going to happen like this, but not to this extent. Yeah, just going on, it says the schedule, schedule indicates the judge, Emmett Sullivan, may stall on dismissing the case even after President Trump granted his former national security advisor a full pardon late last month. Appearing to ignore the Justice Department's request for the case immediately to be dismissed, the judge, who has been involved in the Flynn case <clears throat> excuse me, since December 2017, instead seemed to move forward with further debate with the district court docket on Monday, showing more than a dozen groups who had previously filed amicus briefs uh, related to the dismissal uh, might now be able to weigh in in the wake of the pardon. Let me just mute this phone. Sorry. More than a dozen such friend of the court judicial orders from Sullivan were dated for Monday. That's insane. Because, you know, the pardon is full. Especially, it, he could only pardon for federal. He can't, like, do state pardons and all that stuff. But this was a federal case, a full pardon. That's it. That's it. They're, they're supposed to do the formal stuff and sign off. The judge is now going to say, hmm, this is something up with this judge, man. And, and you have to think of, know this. You have to watch, you know, Dan Bongino. You have to check out his show recently. Just days back, he actually interviewed General Flynn. And General Flynn knows, you know how they say he knows where the bodies are? When... Obama was transit um, when Donald Trump won. Obama told him before inauguration day or on inauguration day, I believe, two things you have to be very careful with, and, and they're just your deepest threats. One is North Korea. The other is Michael Flynn. You would think this guy was Jack the Ripper or something like that. Michael Flynn? That's who you. Cause that's why they fired him. I'm not saying that's not why Mike Pence fired him, but that's um, why I'm sorry I misspoke. That's why President Obama was so worried about it. That's why they got they're ragging this guy through because you think oh because he's part of now that huh? well he's not going to say anything or whatever he can't say anything. You know what they're terrified of, and that he should they should be. He's going to probably do a book. And although he can't do what John Bolton did and just put classified information in there, 
saying how he felt about the deals he did, he could talk about that stuff, and they are scared to death of that. There's no reason how this judge is going on, but let's just see, because um, this is just disgusting now. Um, let's see. The president granted General Flynn a full and unconditional pardon for, one, the charge of making false statements to federal investigators, two, any and all possible offenses arising from the facts set forth in the information and statement of offense, and three, any and all possible offenses within the investiga investigatory authority or jurisdiction of the special counsel, and four, any and all possible offenses arising out of the facts and circumstances related to the investigation of the special counsel, the Justice Department told the court at the end of November, adding that no further proceedings are necessary or appropriate, as the court must immediately dismiss the case uh, with prejudice. Trump announced the Flynn pardon the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, we know. Flynn fought to dismiss the case since December 2017. I'm trying to find that part. Um, uh, let's just go right here. I want to see what when he called uh, G General Flynn a traitor. But it says, on Friday, fellow U.S. District, Dr Judge, District Judge Reggie Walton, who is handling a Freedom of Information Act, a FOIA case, related to Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation, opined that, Sullivan might choose to scrutinize Flynn's pardon. Walton said he didn't believe Sullivan has a lot of options in reference to what he does unless he takes the position that the wording of the pardon is too broad a guarantee that's going to happen. Theoretically, the decision could be reached because the wording in the pardon seems to be very, very broad. It could be construed that I think as extending protections against a criminal prosecution is after the date the pardon was issued. Gotcha. Sullivan, but it doesn't matter, because even if he uses that, if the president didn't pardon him, this guy wasn't letting it go. So this is no excuse, oh, this is why he's hanging on. I think this guy, General Flynn could be walking down an avenue, going to a store, and you will see the judge holding on to his heels, getting dragged, because he doesn't want to let go. It says, Sullivan's new orders seem <clears throat> to allow multiple groups, roughly half of which support dismissal and half who oppose it, to provide their thoughts says the National Association of Criminal Defense Lawyers, the Uniform Services League, blah, 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 had all weighed in favor of the judge granting the Flynn dismissal. Democratic members, oh, okay, here we go, of the House Judiciary Committee, 17 individuals who served in the Justice Department Watergate Special Prosecution Force, a group called the Separation of Power Scholars. Oh, Scholar, they, they're happy to call themselves scholars. A group of 1,187 former justices blah, 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 are against it. Yeah, because all these people that are against it, their names probably come up on something. Um, let's see here. Is that Jeff? Flynn lawyers led by Sidney Powell since last summer argued in October that Sullivan's increasingly hostile and unprecedented words and deeds in what became his own prosecution of General Flynn mandated disqualification. Um, anyway, so that's the deal, yo. They, they just not, he's not letting this guy go. Um, the only thing I can say is when reading, like, when when we look at that, yeah. Where was that? Right here. It says, any and all possible arising from the facts set forth in the information and statement of offense. So basically, whatever um, that they charged him with, so being that he's pardoned from that, okay, I understand one. Two, any and all possible offenses arising from the facts set forth in the information statement of offense. And I just read that any and all possible offenses within the investigative authority of jurisdiction of the special counsel and possible offenses arising out of facts and circumstances related to the. Yeah, there's nothing. They got nothing on this guy. I don't see. The, the, now that this is reported, Judge Sullivan is going to probably say that, that this is too broad, write it over. And you know what, though? The president can just say when it comes to the pardons, No. He's free. That's it. What's the what's this judge's next move? He doesn't. 
I, I don't, how, how does a judge do this? You heard of separation of powers, right? You know, the three, um, you have the executive branch, you have the legislative branch, and you have um, the ju judiciary. He has no standing on this. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I could just keep going and just like dragging this out for another 20 minutes because I just keep scratching my head on this. You know, I thought the guy should have recused himself when right off the back he called General Flynn a traitor before he even pled guilty or anything from what was in the papers, in the media. Go figure. A judge could just tell you that. And now you're supposed to sit there for the next year or two feeling that this guy's going to give you a fair shake. Unbelievable. Anyway, folks, uh, I just want to share my frustration with you. I'm sure you share it as well. Um, anyway, you have a great day. Um, I'm going to be putting up a video later. Um, I'm going to try about Georgia. I was trying last night. I don't know what happened. I was doing something off the Gateway Pundit, and I must have did about 10 takes and everything, and I got so frustrated I just scrapped it. So I may give it another try later. So anyway, thank you so much for your support. I, I, I mean, I really, really appreciate that. All right. Um, have a great day. Stay safe and healthy. Peace. <laughs>